If I'm being completely honest, this is one of my absolute favorite changes that I'm going to be using uh, all the time. Now, I've really struggled in the past with catching multiple exceptions and essentially just causing a complete and utter mess uh, wherever I'm doing so. Now, the change to PHP 7.1 means that we can catch multiple exceptions, but within the same uh, catch block. So what we're going to do is take a look at this particular example here, uh, which involves, say, maybe a brain tree, which is just a payment provider or a uh, payment gateway and having some kind of charge method that could potentially throw all of these exceptions. So just to kind of set this up and test this out, what we're going to do is inside of here, just create an if statement to manually throw an exception. So in here, I'm going to throw a new insufficient fund exception. And then otherwise, I'm going to throw a new payment method not supported exception. Now, the whole idea of this is that these three exception types here, maybe I want to just say to the user, sorry, something went wrong. So if they have insufficient funds, it's a hard decline, or we have a security violation, we just want to show a general error message. Now for this exception, I may want to change the message that I send to the user and say, sorry, we don't accept that particular payment method. Uh, please use another card or something like that. So these three, I want to show one message and this I want to show another. So let's take a look at how we would traditionally do this. And then we'll take a look at the improvements and how this really cleans things up. And I think you'll like this. So we're going to go ahead and create a new Braintree instance. And of course, to use this, we would do something like gateway charge and then maybe we'd pass some kind of token in to go ahead and charge the user now in this case what we can do is obviously wrap this in a try and then we can catch any exceptions that we need to in here so what we would do is we would catch each of these exceptions in turn like so so we would go ahead and just basically chain these on so we would catch every single one here which already kind of rings alarm bells and the fact that you are doing this again and again and really it is just completely and utterly messy. So uh, let's go ahead and implement the final one and then we'll take a look at how we may get around this in the traditional sense and then go ahead and look at how uh, this might be better. So what I would tend to do is up here somewhere, go ahead and create a message. Maybe it's null, this might be error, could be anything, could be called whatever you want. And in here, what I would say, well, if there are insufficient funds, I want to just give a general message. So sorry, declined. And I would do the same for a hard decline. And I would do the same for a security violation. Now, it's important to note that this would only be the case if these don't extend a common exception. So say these all extended uh, a very common exception that was just basically a declined exception, then this wouldn't be a problem because you could literally just pass through the exception that this extends. In this case, though, I'm just assuming that each of these are their own exception. And then for payment uh, method not supported, I want to output a completely different exception. So for example, the error here might be something like, sorry, we do not accept that card or whatever you were to say. So now what you would do down here is you would redirect. So I would redirect with error and then I would go ahead and send that error through maybe in a session, like a flash message or something like so. Now, obviously this is a complete mess. It really just fills up your controller or wherever you're calling this with unnecessary code. It looks messy. You've potentially got code repetition here as well. Now, the change that's been made is very, very nice. What we can actually do is instead of doing all of these, we can separate the exceptions that we want to catch inside of one catch block. So I'll get rid of this one. I'll do the same for this one as well. So let's go ahead and pop that just in there. And I'm going to get rid of this one. So what's happening here then is we're saying, well, catch any of these, call it E and then do something with that. So in this case, I want to uh, catch this one separately and I want to catch these three separately and just take one action if any of these were uh, thrown. So let's just go ahead and change that to die. We're not working within Laravel. We see sorry declined. If I just switch this over to false, we will throw a payment method not supported. So we get a different error. So that has just really cleaned up how this looks. And if you did have a lot of exceptions here that you were manually catching, 
what I would probably tend to do is format them a little bit like this. So rather than have a huge long line, I would do something similar to that. Now my text editor doesn't know what to do because obviously it's not been updated to work with this kind of syntax, uh, but you can see that this uh, just generally looks a lot cleaner. We can see that we're catching these three types, doing something with that, and then finally catching this. So really this just adds a whole layer of flexibility onto how we catch uh, exceptions if you wanted to catch multiple exceptions and I really will be using this genuinely I think it's a really nice addition so there we go we can catch now uh, multiple exceptions in one catch block